Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick preview of this new Scrabble artificial intelligence that I've built. Um, it's still like, what do you call it? What's before alpha? Like it's pre-alpha. Like this thing is not as capable as Quackle. It doesn't even have a proper uh, UI, but it does, you know, it does some cool things. So let's open it up here. Uh, it's command line driven so far. Um, let's say that we want to analyze a game that's on cross tables. So um, let's see, for example, we want to see how, I uh, want to see this game. Let's see, Noah versus Josh, so-called. So I could just take this number right here, the 35563, this is the ID of the game, and then we just plug it into uh, Macondo right here. My, my uh, tool is called Macondo, by the way. We do load XT 35563, and boom, we have a game, right? So we can step forward through the game, you know, press N to go to the next move. Um, here, let me let me fix this uh, this window a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, let's fix this a bit. Okay, there. Okay, so you can go to you can like skip to different turns, like turn ten, for example, turn twenty. Um, and actually, uh, if you do help, it tells you what moves are, what uh, commands are available. So a lot of these commands are not going to be um, very polished, and there may be bugs, but uh, actually the solve PEG command isn't even available yet. This is a solve pre end game, but this will be available soon. I'm going to work on that next. Um, so let's go back, let's show the board, and let's go back to the beginning, for example. Okay, so this is uh, Noah Walton's rec. So we can do gen, and that actually generates uh, 15 moves uh, by equity. Um, and the equity is just going to be like, the, again, like a, a leave plus score. And I have my own leaf values. They're not um, as good as Quackles, but they should still work okay. So if we do sim, this actually starts a simulation with three threads on my computer. Uh, you can actually change the number of threads too. So I just default to three if you have four cores. Um, and you notice that it's not showing you the sim results because otherwise this thing would just be scrolling down. It would, it would be pretty ugly. But it tells you like how many iterations it's done so far. And at any time you can do sim show to show how the simulation is doing. So you can see that 8E Jube is winning here. Um, let's show it again. Uh, it's, and you can see that the values actually get a little bit better. Um, let's stop the simulation. Do sim stop, and it actually stops the simulation. And if I want to see details, sim details actually shows you like that whatever Quackle, whatever you're used to in Quackle, which is like for each play, what is your opponent's re reply, uh, bingo percentage, mean, and then your response. You know, after the next turn, so you can see why Jube sims best here. Um, and the values are actually pretty close to Quackles. Um, I, I I can show you side by side, but you can just uh, experiment yourself too. Um, what else can this do? So let's go to turn like 20, for example. This is actually pretty close to the end of the game. Um, let's say we want to figure out what Noah's best endgame move is here. He played, it tells you right here where he played, he played N1 Grid. Um, if I do endgame, it tries to solve the endgame. Um, and it tries, it defaults to doing a four ply look ahead. It takes a little while sometimes. Um, but you can see that it thinks that the best move is E6 aw first. E6 aw right here. Um, it's I'm not sure what let me see. It's just E6 aw and then you play 4M T, because I guess like both players are stuck. Um, I guess we could look at this. Uh, let's pull up Quackle and see what Quackle thinks is the best move here. First, I'm gonna download this game. Um, three, five, five, six, three. Okay. Spoke crackle here. Okay, and then let me change this window to be crackle now.
Okay. Um, and I was looking at this game right here, at this move right here. So if I do ask Championship Player, this actually also solves the endgame on Quackle. And you can see that the best move is going to be F9, A, W, N. Uh, my thing says the best move is E6, A, W. So let's take a look at this endgame again. And um, so as I showed you, if you find, if you do an endgame just by itself, it will look only four plies. And in this case, it's finding that the best move is this E6, A, W. And that's actually off by one. It is a second ranked move on Quackle, and it uh, does one point worse um, than the best move. But if I just look six bytes ahead, I can do endgame six. It takes a little bit longer, but not too much longer. You'll see it only take a few seconds. Okay, it's already seen four. It's already seen six, five plies now, and it actually already found F9 on after after five plies. Um, so so it'll try doing one more ply and see like uh, if it does any better. And now the best sequence that it found was still F9 on. Um, and that is actually the best uh, Quackle play. But additionally, you can see here that it finds a whole sequence of, of, uh, of plays here. I know this is kind of not formatted the best uh, just yet, but you can see that F9 on is followed by 4M and then placing the T down uh, after, it doesn't tell you what letter, but uh, if you look at Quackle, I actually went through this, and um, it... This is actually the, the sequence that Quackle finds as well. So this is this does work as long as you uh, look ahead enough. So that's the kind of thing that Maconda can do. It can solve end games. Um, sometimes it may not be as good as Quackle, but it is actually exhaustive. It's trying every single possibility, and it does so in such a way that it's not uh, too slow. Um, so another thing that we can do is, for example, uh, let's look at the help menu. So we can create a new game, for example, and let's say that we plug in you know, the typical, like, Quackle rack of, like, uh, A-E-I-N-Q-S-T. So we do rack, A-E-I-N-Q-S-T, and then we do generate, so we can generate the moves, and sim, so we can uh, start a simulation. And we expect something that, like, QI should probably win instead of exchanging Q. Um, so after a few iterations, we see, okay, yeah, QI is doing okay. And here it tells you how many iterations it's done. It's usually faster than this, but it's actually a little bit slower because of the video. But, um, you know, 503 is not so bad for 7, 15, 15 um, uh, plays. So right now there's no way to delete plays or add plays yet, but I'm going to be working on that very soon. Um, same stop. And um, another thing that we can do is... Um, have this thing play against itself. So we can do autoplay, and it'll actually just log to, um, let's do a help autoplay, that tells you where it logs. It logs to, you know, by default, this temp autoplay.txt. So you do autoplay, and let's have this thing play against itself. And it's actually using all four threads. It's, it's playing a billion games, but it's actually not gonna play a billion, you're gonna stop it. So once you're done with autoplay, um, you can type in autoplay stop, and then uh, it, you know got job signal x soon. Okay, so then let's go and look at our uh, temp file that it generated. So we can do a temp um, autoplay.txt. So you can see here it just it generates a CSV, and you know player ID, game ID, turn, rack, total score, tiles played, left. So basically. You can use this to do analysis, like have this play against itself like millions and millions of times, and then that's how we're figuring out super leaf values, um, and eventually, hopefully, that's, that's how we're going to figure out more machine learning stuff. Um, so all of these games have a unique game ID, so you can then figure out stuff like who won each, who won which which game, you know, like so. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. So right now, it's just dumb and it just plays um, uh, against itself. Um, with the static evaluator, but maybe eventually we can add simming to it, we can change which player does what. So yeah, there's a lot of possibilities here. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Thank you so much for looking, and I hope you enjoy using this.